So here's the solar panel uh, working up here on this car. My, it's a Lexus. You can see here's what it looks like from behind. I just want to show you the cables and stuff now. So there it is. So basically, we have these MC4 cables that come down underneath it and then go down right here. And I've got this all set up for traveling here. But uh, it comes down into here and I've made an XT60 connector. This has 48 volts coming down into it. And so what I'm doing is I'm running it through uh, the step down it's a converter got off Amazon uh, so it brings the input in at 48 volts and then it kicks it out at 12 volts so from here I have another uh, XT60 connector coming out and I made a little extension cord here we walk around to the other side so then that extension uh, comes down into here and gets in the side of my my river so I didn't do this very good I forgot to put the shrink uh, stuff there And for some reason, it's not showing any power coming in. Let's pull this out. There it goes. So now the fan's kicking on because it's bringing in power. But today's uh, January 3rd and it's about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. So the sun's, and I'm tilted kind of a little bit away from the sun. I was driving this around earlier today and it was doing about 70 to 75 watts of input. Um, so, you know, even in the winter, this is gonna allow me to use this battery pack quite a bit. And in the summer, this thing's gonna be just gushing out uh, power. So that's basically my setup. Then my to show you actually how we got this set up. This will sit up in here and then they'll have the AC outlets here and a cigarette lighter adapter pretty close to me here. Then underneath, this is kind of off topic, but you can see the cooler and I just have these empty boxes here for right now with storage and stuff. And there'll be some boxes there. This goes across. I got these uh, underbed storage boxes at Costco, and those little guys. And there's another little plastic box here. And a uh, and place to sleep right here. Just need to bring a pillow out here. Anyway, this is this is going to be set up. So, but there's. Uh, this charging is 63% and then I can track it with an app uh, in my house. So there's my, my cables that are connected to it. Those could all be you know, attached to the bottom of this deck that I have. I may have to do that with as time goes by, figure out how to get them all out of the way. But just to start out with, I just wanted to test it and make sure it was all working.
So here you can see where the River 600 is charging. I just showed you outside. Um, oops, looks like the device went on, offline. It's right at the edge of where my, my Wi-Fi is going to fit. But you can see it's charging 63 watts in there. Looks like it's back online. It's at 97% capacity. Um, computer. So since it's right here, I can also uh, turn on the, the light for that. Looks like my device is offline because it would show uh, this one watt. So maybe, it, like I say, it's at the edge of the of the Wi-Fi service area. So that's kind of cool to get that information and I'll have to figure out how to get it some good Wi-Fi. And um, that's it.